Certainly. So uh, what, doctors in the emergency department have a really tough job to do because the patient arrives, they might be really unwell, and they don't have a lot of information on which to base their decision because they haven't got all the tests back and things like that. So because they're worried, they want the patient to get better, they don't want to delay care, they give them an antibiotic. And that's what I mean by having a low threshold. If you've got a patient who's been in hospital for a day, two days, you've got more time to know what's going on with them. So you, may, you can maybe wait a bit longer. Yeah, I mean, it, it does seem to be very high and other studies have said it's probably around a third. I think it, it perhaps was higher than we expected, but we're not saying that all of those patients don't have a UTI. What we're saying is we haven't got any evidence from a test that says they have a UTI or not. So the real answer probably lies somewhere in the middle, maybe a third, but it still means that a whole load of people are getting antibiotics who don't actually need them.